What's up guys? This is April, your 2012 Rat Rock Girl, enjoying local summer here in Asbury Park. But for now, it's time for your Rat Rock News. Over two years after the death of Paul Gray of Slipknot, we're getting a new revelation in the investigation into his death. Iowa doctor Daniel Baldy was recently charged with eight counts of involuntary manslaughter for the deaths of his patients, including Paul Gray. It turns out he has been prescribing ridiculous levels of morphine, fentanyl, all these different prescription drugs to known drug addicts, and Paul Gray, unfortunately, was one of them. The guys from Slipknot are deeply saddened and angry at this news and are going to do whatever they can in the investigation to make sure that this guy gets put to justice and that this doesn't happen to anybody else ever again. My latest and greatest of the week has been Wes Scantlin of Puddle of Mud and it looks like Wes is going to take home the trophy two weeks in a row. Now we all know what happened last week where he caused an altercation on a flight going to Los Angeles with a flight attendant and caused the plane to have to have an emergency landing in Texas. Now he just told TMZ that he was totally sober when the whole thing went down and that it was just because the flight attendants of America are on a huge power trip. Oh, you can check out what he said to TMZ right here. No, I wasn't drinking, I was sober. Oh, so you were sober at the time this I happened. was arrested for being sober on an airplane, asking and trying to purchase an item, which is a beer or a cerveza, on JetBlue. So if you want to fly JetBlue, uh, have fun not getting a beer. I mean, I was completely, completely sober. Yeah. You know? Did they do the uh, the tests, like uh, you no, know, the eye didn't test and all that stuff? Because they knew I was sober. Really? So why would they still arrest you just for disorderly conduct? No, because flight attendants have some kind of power trip right now. Uh -huh. Did you show what they did yeah. to you? Oh yeah, and look this what happened. they did to you. What they this is what they did. This was the the police or the flight attendants? This was the cops. The cops. Yeah. What, were they beating you? I don't know what they did, man. First of all, Wes. I would love to believe you, but I saw your antics at Starland Ballroom and uh, you're kind of crazy. And second of all, put your shirt back on. This story has to be my favorite of the week because it shows that not all rock stars are full of themselves. At the August 31st stop of the Uproar Festival, a fan bum rushed the stage, jumped on and put a hat on Sully from Godsmack's head. And after that, security tackled him to the ground. And what did Sully do? He yelled at security. The whole thing was caught on tape. You can check it out right here. Unnecessary guys, put them down. Seriously, that's crazy. Fucking kid, put a hat on me. It's okay. I don't need a medic. Let him go back and enjoy the show. Come on, man. It's all rock and roll. Second verse. Well, I have to admit that guy did look a little bit crazy. I understand what Sully's saying. He loves his fans and he wants them to enjoy the show. This is April, your 2012 Rat Rock Girl, and that was your Rat Rock News. Join me and the rest of the Rat Pack at the Headliner this Friday from 5.30 to 7.30 for Happy Hour, and Jimmy Steele is going to be broadcasting live. Come hang with us. See you guys there.